and the era was disco albums and the great times that we had in the 70s and 80s. Maybe cassettes when they came into the marketplace and revolutionized the idea of portable music. Compact disc, which we still have today, USB, all the rest of it. Well, it all is playable, relivable, with a look of nostalgia on a truly unique Today's Special Value. It's called the Aviator, and QVC has had huge success with this. We were able to bring you a handcrafted piece of furniture yep. with <laughs> audio that reminds us of what it was like when we had hair and we could dance, or our era of our parents or our grandparents, and it has been stunningly popular. Yes, now, to do it as a today's special value, this is the most full-featured Aviator we've ever offered you eight different musical functions and we'll go through all of them mm -hmm. a great one day only purchase price what you're looking at is the deep rich mahogany right we also have a beautiful blonde oak we have what's called espresso and i want you to see the details that old-fashioned antique screening that beautiful old style aviator faceplate all the functions that make it not just a playing machine, but a recording music machine as well. We get into it. And then up here on the very top is the black. The black is the most limited. We've had now close to, Bob, what is it, 11,000 people yes, today yes. who have ordered it? Welcome back, man. How are you? Good to see you, buddy, as always. This so is Bob pleasure. Rayner. He's our special guest for the day. You're old enough. I'm old enough <laughs> yeah, to remember. I am old enough, yep. I still have records. Surprisingly, Crates of them I have, yeah. album sales in 2015 <laughs> increased 53% over album sales a year ago. Vinyl, not only do you have vintage back. vinyl, but vinyl is now <laughs> is now the new new spiel, the yeah. new stick, you know. And it's really kind of cool because uh, uh, I've been in Manhattan and see vinyl record stores popping up all over, now serving two purposes, reselling classic vinyl, but also brand new contemporary artists are releasing their music on vinyl because it's still a good, viable format. You feel it. You don't just listen to music, you feel it. You know what somebody said to me, by the way? One of the advantages of vinyl, the album art. We don't see oh, that yeah. anymore Album on the little covers. CDs yep. and certainly not digital, but now we used to, when I was a kid, would stare at the Beatles pictures, you know, <laughs> and, and, and hold those in my hands. I'm reliving that now. Well, yeah. this is a piece of equipment that yeah. we are going to share with our family. Uh, for the younger members of the, the audience, this is where your mom and dad are gonna pull out their Led Zeppelin album from 1978, yep. which you lived for and you knew every word of. It's gonna be your grandparents who had 33 and a thirds, because my generation had the 45, <laughs> and great grandparents with their 78s, yeah. and be able to play them all. Yep. Cassettes, we still have them, mm -hmm. but we can't listen to them, we can't enjoy them because the equipment doesn't exist anymore. Yep. Compact disc, they'll be here forever. Yes, it plays compact disc. Yep, it does, it does. It is your AM and your FM radio. Mm -hmm. It's your Bluetooth enabled device for all the stuff that you've got on your iPhones and your iPods and your mm -hmm. you know, cell phones, et cetera. Yep. It is then also a recording device. And that's what these buttons over here are for. Yeah, we're gonna show you. To be able to take all those old formats that you haven't listened to in ages and put them into new formats like USB mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you can listen to right. the BGs. Right, you can listen to and them Toto. and preserve them as well. You know, that's two functions when you record. Preserve your older music from your records and tapes. You know, how many of us had tangled tapes and torn oh, and stretched yeah. tapes. You can preserve them That's before you they... That's the number two pencil. Right, you can preserve <laughs> them before you're, they really go bad and also, as you mentioned, you can listen to them in places you couldn't listen to them before. Absolutely. Okay, run me through yeah. the features and I okay. want to start with, you and I are actually old enough to remember family members that had big console radios Indeed we in did. the room that they yep. call the parlor. Yep, yep. This is built like the fine furniture from the 40s, it is, from Dan. the 30s, it, when there was a respect 
for craftsmanship. craftsmanship. Yep, yeah. you have here on every one of the pieces, no matter what color you choose, solid wood top. Okay, That's this one is gorgeous. finished in mahogany. You know, we have the black, the espresso, and the blonde oak. Solid wood top. The rest of the cabinet is indeed still real wood. You have this beautiful woven grill cloth, and I always say, I wish people at home could feel it's, it's 3D. the depth. It's all it's three dimensional with the deep texture of the beautiful grill cloth, a leatherette front covering, and also the antique bronze here uh, uh, that is beautiful. Beautiful uh, accents, except for the black one, which is chrome. Yeah, that's good. That gives a nice uh, contemporary look. So my point here, Dan, is it's aesthetically beautiful and warms your home as a piece of furniture before you ever turn it on. Right. Right. Okay. And in fact, I use. I, I've told this story several times today. I used to work part-time job selling electronics in a retail store. Okay. And a lot of times I would get feedback, especially from women. Why does it have to be black? Why does know, it have to be yeah. steel and plastic, you know? Well, not because they were concerned about the aesthetics of the furniture, the look, right? Well, now that's not an issue because we have it beautifully here. My parents, my parents had know. one of the big consoles that you had to lift the oh, lid and yes. a wait a time. Yeah, yeah. This becomes a focal point, and, and whether it's a party, whether it's a little family gathering, whether it's you know, putting on the old disco <laughs> albums while you're vacuuming, yeah, while the yeah. kids are away from the house so you're not embarrassed. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. comes with a remote control. It comes with everything to be able to listen to eight different formats of music. You bet it, it is. It spans over a hundred years of music. Yes, it does indeed. Now, of course, uh, of course, what's most evident is that you see the uh, ra uh, record player here, okay? With the 45 With the 45 RPM adapter, it will play 33s, 45s, or 78s. So, you can have the glorious sound of vinyl records, new records or classic records with the vinyl record player, okay? But we can go down here and listen to other sources. For example, we can press that one button there or select it from your remote control, and now you're listening to a radio station. AM or AM FM. AM or FM. So enjoy your favorite music station or flip over to AM, listen to your news, your talk, your baseball games, and buddy, just the way granddad listened to a yes, baseball game. And when right? you and I were kids, radio was everything. Indeed it was, and now you can still enjoy the radio here. How much more can we do? Well, over on the side there, Dan, there right is a here. cassette player. So you can see it on the side of the machine over here. There is a cassette player. All you have to do, push that tape straight in can there, I? Dan, right? Right there. And I can select tape with the front button or else on the remote control. What you're listening to now, a tape of beautiful music. So you can get out that cassette, the cases we used to take into our car with the handles oh, yeah. on them. I still have them in my basement uh -huh. stored away. Now I'm listening to a tape. Do I but, pop it out? Yeah, sure, you can. And by the way, if you push that button half in, you'll fast Pause, be able yeah. to fast forward it if you wish to uh, skip ahead. All right, we talked about other digital music. How about a CD player? Yes. Okay, pop a CD in there. You can listen to CDs. The new thing we've added for the today's special value, USB. USB. Now you can now you can plug a USB thumb drive right into the front of the machine and play your MP3 music from there or your digital music from the CD. But both that CD right. and also the USB will become your archive. Right. Those albums that could never be replaced. Exactly. Listen, mm -hmm. you're not going to find a 1986 mixtape, the one you made for your girlfriend who dumped you right afterwards, you're not finding that tape ever again. So now you can take that and put it on USB or do it on a DVD, or pardon me, on a CD, right. and take it with you in the car. That used to be, that, that was that was the player's move right there, buddy. Yes. You make you your made girl your mix a mixtape of all yeah. her favorite songs. Dan, it's fun. I did that not quite in the same hair. vein, but when we had a 45th <laughs> anniversary party for my parents, uh -huh. I found out what were the popular songs in the year that they were married, and I made a mixtape of that, and I played that oh, at our 45th great. anniversary party, right? I forgot I did that until yesterday, preparing for this presentation. You did you find I found it? the 45th anniversary mixtape of my, my mother and father's music oh. in the year they were married. I forgot I made that. Right. Now I can play it again and listen to it. And when you talk about recording, <laughs> I want to make sure that you understand, when you do this recording, please don't be intimidated by difficulty in technology. It could not be easier, and I'm going to, sh I'm going to show you here on live television exactly how that's done. You pick the music source you want to hear. For example, I picked the phonograph, okay? Right. All you need to do is one of two things. You either put in a blank recordable CD or you put in 
and the USB thumb drive that has empty space on it. Okay? Yes. So once you've loaded, whether you want to record to CD or whether you want to record to USB, really doesn't matter. All you need to do is when you pick that source, touch this one button that says, quite simply, record, right? Once you touch the record button, it's going to tell you here, CD, hit it a second time, it will record to USB. So let's record to CD, all right? All you need to do is press the record button, start your record, and hit play. I am now making digital CD recording of that record album. You didn't have to get a computer. You don't have to load software. No cables. No cables, no wires, no attachments, nothing. You load a blank CD, hit record, and start playing your record or tape, and you are making pristine digital copies, which will do two things. Preserve right. your records and tapes, and also allow you to play them in places you've never been able to enjoy your music and before. And both those are reasons right there to, yeah. to invest a little bit in something that will be so special. Share your favorite genre of music. I wanna run through colors, then we will go to our phone lines. Yep. We have the mahogany right, right. in front of us. Mm -hmm. We've got a gore, just a glorious blonde oak. Blonde oak, right. And this one, this unit is different than the one that we had during the holiday. Yes. We had it in limited numbers in blonde oak. Very limited, I, I, once out. or twice at best, yeah. This brand is new. the espresso that is brand new, and also brand new, is the black. Now the black is by far the most limited. We started off our day with over 4,000 of them in the black and we have now less than a thousand that remain. Uh, wow. I, it's <laughs> funny. I, I am 54 years of age, proud of it. Uh, my daughter's generation was Definitely the CD generation. Mm -hmm. She saw cassettes and went, what are these? And remember when, <laughs> remember when, I remember the day when I learned that they took records out of the, my, most, my favorite record store, yes. totally replaced with tape cassettes. Records disappeared. They, we thought records were old school yes. then. <laughs> and then and the, and the year what would have been cassettes, right, right around 1988, 89, that yep. they came back. Right. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk trivia later. Uh, let's go after our phone lines to say yes, hello to let's. Nancy down in Georgia. Nancy, how are you? I'm doing very well. How are you today? Wonderful. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, maybe I'm getting older or maybe a little more nostalgic, but did this hit home with you? Very much so. But I do have a question. Please that I couldn't find the answer to online, and I was wondering if I could burn from CD to CD. Uh, no, no, that's not possible in this particular uh, unit. You know what? Yes, she could. With well, the auxiliary. There is, that is true. That is true. Dan, I'm glad you brought that mm -hmm. up. There's also something in here called aux and auxiliary can, input. Can I pull this out? Uh, yes, USB? if you can. Yes, you can do right one of here. two things. If you recorded, fr if you recorded something and your auxiliary jack here. Or in other if you words, have a portable CD a portable player. portable CD player or something like that. You could mm -hmm. plug that into here and record from another CD player attached to that place, could then record on your CD. So yes, you could make CD copies. You would need an external device. Yes. And you could even record them on your USB and record this to your CD. Oh, very good. Okay, that was my question. I'm glad I Dan brought that CDs. up. That I would like just particular songs on yes. the CD to Understood. Go to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she wants to See, make Nancy, a mixed CD of a CD. Yes. <laughs> Nancy, yes. as you were asking that question, yeah. I'm thinking, all right. Yeah. I'm not going to guess. Never guess how old a woman is. That'll get you smacked. Yep. Yep. But can you give me an example of your favorite genre of music? Well, it would definitely be the 50s and 60s. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, and this will do it for you. And I bet you've got some old albums laying around or some old 45s. Quite a few albums, actually. Okay. Quite a few. Mm -hmm. And when's the last time you had a chance to listen to any of them? Oh, I would say over at least a year ago. Okay. It's, it's a wonderful experience. Uh, we're thrilled to have the piece of equipment on the air, and it is every bit as pretty furniture as it is the music and the memories, too. Yes, well, this is Good. exactly what I've been looking for, and the price is great, because I've been checking online to see exactly how much something like this would cost me. And yep. This is a wonderful price. Yep. You can't uh, beat the easy pay either. That's what a Today's Special Value is all about. Nancy, yours is on its way. We'll have it to you very, very quickly. Uh, 
relive the past just a little bit. Enjoy. Yeah, thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you, Bye -bye. Nance. Bye-bye. I'm Bye -bye. going back to Indiana next weekend for my father's 90th birthday. God bless him. And I never thought about pulling up what the favorite songs were in the year he was born. Think about I'm gonna doing do that. that. Yeah, yeah. I really like that. Music is very sentimental. Uh, and you know, in this day and age, you can find that stuff maybe on the internet. Sure. Make a copy of it on your USB, on your computer, put it on the USB and play it, and through, play this. it through this. And maybe even make a CD <clears throat> in it if you wanted I, it, to. It's amazing. The yeah. technology is very up to date but it gives us that old world look. And I think even the younger members of our audience are starting to have a respect for craftsmanship and the way things should be made. Right. So there it is, playing your, your albums in either 33 and a third, mm -hmm. the old 78s, right. or 45s that we called singles, mm -hmm. plays your cassettes, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> plays your CDs, yep. AM, FM radio, and any Bluetooth device from up to 30 feet away. Yep, that's what you're hearing now. All. Yeah, out of this iPod now, we are playing wireless Bluetooth music. See, I can stop it, start it, and everything, which, by the way, you can also do sometimes with certain remote control devices. Like, I just skipped that song using the remote control, yeah. not touching the Bluetooth device at all. How cool I, is that? I, I like how you it know? looks. Like the upsell to this should be an old worn sweater with leather elbows, but it's still high tech. Yeah, it's still high you know tech. I mean? I've used the phrase several, several times today in doing the presentations. Whether you're seven years old or 70, we have you covered with the music yeah. formats that you grew up with and the music that shaped your life. If you have old 78 RPM records, it'll play them. 33s, singles, 45s, yep. it'll play them. If you have the latest digital music on Bluetooth or USB or CDs, it'll play those too. We have you covered plus the added benefit of being able to take your old school music and digitize it, turn it into digital copies on USB or CD without ever connecting a wire or a cable using a computer. To share or that is a beautiful thing. Here's yeah. a little American trivia. There's oh. uh, two companies, BMI and, I, and ASCAP. ASCAP, right. They did the rating for uh, records. Yep. The, the very last 45 RPM single to go gold in America. I worked in radio for years, and you have me stumped. I don't, but I remember I used to have to keep the BMI and ASCAP logs when you I was on the air. You own a copy of it because I gave it to you. Help I, me. That's the 45 that I cut in 1988 called Jingle Belch. Why didn't you bring your record in so we could play it? Uh, I need this job. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go say hello to Becky. Becky's here in Pennsylvania. How are you, Becky? How you doing? I'm doing well, Dan. Thanks, and how are you? I, I really am excited about this because... And we are, too. Good. I, I purchased it for my husband. He's always wanted one. And I... Becky, are you still with us? I might have lost Yes, you. I'm still here. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, well, your husband's a lucky guy. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. what type of genre of music? And are we talking about the old albums or cassettes or all of it? All of it. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. And uh, Becky, part of it is archiving. Because if we don't archive things like these cassettes, eventually they'll just degrade and the music will disappear from these tapes. So preserve them. Now, don't just listen to them, preserve them. And cassettes yeah. were the right. first opportunity that the average American had to record what they liked. So mm -hmm. those mixtapes right. we did yeah, became I, very personal. Yeah. Yeah, I would do that. I would listen to the radio and I'd have a tape player beside the radio and tape what I wanted to hear. I yep. did that too, right. <laughs> Becky, yeah. this is really obscure. Uh, yeah. And you're out here in Pennsylvania. I grew up in the Midwest. Bob grew out here. Grew yep. up out here in Northeast Pennsylvania. Northeast PA. There for used me, yeah. to be this show, usually late at night, on radio called Doctor Demento. Doctor Demento, I remember it well. Yes. <laughs> do, do you remember Doctor Demento? No, I'm sorry, I don't. Okay, I think Bob did. Uh, it was great stuff. It was all really <laughs> weird, obscure, funny songs. It was. The guy was crazy. And I used to record every one of his shows, so. <laughs> Beautiful. Becky, which color did you go with? We went with the mahogany. Okay, that's the one that Bob and I have yeah. right in front of us. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a gorgeous piece of furniture. I think you're yeah, gonna love it. Oh, we're looking forward to it. Wonderful. Great. Thank you, Becky. Oh, thank you very much, and both of you have a great day. Thank you, you ma'am.
Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. I have old 78s that came from my, it would be my grandmother who lived in Tunkhannock, Pennsylvania. Right near my home of Clark Summit, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. That I, I haven't listened to those 78s in ages because who, who's got a piece of equipment that plays a 78 now? You know, I, I talked to people recently telling them about this who told me, I have all these albums and I'm kicking myself because I got rid of my turntable years ago. Yeah. I said, here's your opportunity to relive that music again. Yep. You know, very Let me cool. take a little walk and I'll be right back. Because this is about a memory. This is about being able to, whether you're alone on a late fall evening to be able to sit by the radio, like I remember doing when I was just a little boy, and being in my grandmother's parlor, looking at the front of her floor stand radio, trying to figure out where the picture tube was, but she didn't have a TV. This will play every format of music that is currently available to us. This is, by the way, the additional stand that is available, and it's a great way of being able to place your albums out on display again. Not, not in a, a fruit crate in the basement. So we're gonna play all of our records, our 45s, our 78s, our 33 and a thirds. These crazy new modern fangle things called compact discs. How about formats like cassettes that we haven't played in ages? Also, modern things like your cell phone, your MP3 player, anything that's Bluetooth, and don't forget USB. Now, it will not only play, and the playing part will make you happy for an evening, but it's gonna be recording those different formats to something that lives longer, like a, a CD. That means that you can now archive your favorite music, your parents' favorite music, even that music that drove your nut, your parents nuts because we had long hair and listened to hippie stuff. You remember Dr. Demento, don't Dr. you? Dr. Demento, I used to <laughs> drive my mother nuts with Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, I used oh, to yeah. drive her nuts with Eric Clapton. I have my original, I must have half a dozen James Brown singles. Okay. I had, just played them constantly. I have a record I told Jane last night in the presentation. I have a 45, because I used to work in radio, we'd get these promotional copies. Yep. A Bon Jovi record signed by John Bon Jovi. Oh, that's when he cool. Would, okay, it's one thing to hear the song, it's another thing to actually play it off the actual disc. Yes. Handed to me by John Bon Jovi and signed by him. Every yeah. single person that yeah. is within the sound of our voice remembers music as being an integral part of their life, whether it was high school, whether it was their college days, yeah. whether it was just, you know, what songs were popular when you got married. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we didn't care about the technology, we cared about the music. Yes. So we just give you yes. the technology to experience, to preserve and experience. Do you remember the music? how when in the old days when you got married you would pick a wedding song? Yes. Bridge over troubled waters, not a good choice as a wedding song. <laughs> <laughs> Just letting you know that. Oh, I didn't choose that. But thank, <laughs> knock on wood. So whatever knock you on got, wood. <laughs> whatever you got, 78s, 33s, uh, and a third, the 45s, your, your cassettes, whether you've got CDs, whether you've got your Blu-ray player, uh, or not, not Blu-ray, Bluetooth devices, uh, USB. The old world and the modern world shake hands, kumbaya, group hug, they sit down to listen to music, and it may become your favorite way to enjoy. Don't forget your AM and your FM radio and the fact that you can record on this as well. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, yeah, 18 inches wide, 10 inches high and packed with technology of the past, the present and the future allows you to enjoy and record to protect and preserve and share it elsewhere. It's good too. I mean, th th what there, more do I have to say? There's the mahogany. The craftsmanship. And look at the detail. Yep. I love the old screen. Yep. Take a good look at it. We then also have a handful of the black, which is a brand new color. And that one comes with, that's a gorgeous chrome Roll, bezel right. around it. There's only a few of those that are remaining in the inventory. We then also have the espresso. And I love that two-tone look. I, I, I really enjoy that this looks like something out of the 50s, it does, the 40s, it? the 30s, but it's brand new. We have a blonde oak, which has always done very well for us and sells out quickly. Uh, Bob, thank you, sir. Thanks, buddy. It's gotta, always a, just a delight can, to be I here with you. I cannot wait to pull out my Dr. Demento tapes.
for songs like Fish Head. Well, you know what? And listen to that I again. want you to burn some CDs and share those I, with me, and you can you do that. Got <laughs> you got it. Uh, all that. the information that you need is right there on QVC.com, and I highly recommend